Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 of Bochi the Rocks. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, damn. <laughs> yes, the five person corner. Hey, I think, you know, Grandma will possibly want to make a three-hour. Damn. I love this. <laughs> Eureka. Euphoria. Or at least, you know, what, like, she could have said, oh, hey, maybe I'll just ask my friend's kids and such. You know, hey, psh, that would have been fine. Yeah, I know that feeling, babe. Oh my god. Oh. Are you okay? Call 911. Someone. Help! Mizu? 
Oh, you draw. Ah. Well, Amiga, water definitely cures the hangover. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> that in, like, what, sleep? I mean, because, okay, so I haven't really been drunk drunk since my birthday. Normally now I'm just, like, tipsy. I can I can handle, like, two, three drinks. No, actually, no, I can handle more than that. Funny. Funny enough. Um, it just depends on what I have. Yeah. If I have shots... All I'll say is, if you see the, the, the crap I say on Twitter when I am. <laughs> because there, I think there was one time, I don't, I think it was, I have tweeted while I've been drunk. I have done voice memos when I'm drunk, and it's so freaking hilarious, because I'll wake up the next day and I'll be like, what was I talking about last night? <laughs> Now, since you bought her that stuff, you give her a ticket. Yeah, you have a very weird person, plus the fact that she was just drunk, baby, so you know, hey. But give her a ticket. Is she getting drunk again? Oh, boy. What? <laughs> No, no, she, she, yeah, she had to rage. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You know, it'd be funny if she's in a band with what's her face's sister. That's like giving up on a game after like only a day of playing it. I mean, well, no, it depends on the game. Yeah, she's actually pretty good. Yeah. Do you not know? 
Okay. Um. Wait, wait. Do you know what pub though? But, but she's also underage. She can't go inside. I mean, you guys could text her back and be like, hey, what's up? What's wrong? You know? She is. She just busy. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. Mm. Mm. So most of the night. I mean, yeah, drinking is like, you know, the comfort makes you forget. Yeah, that too. But, you know, mostly we do it because it's fun. Yeah, it is a little sad when you really, truly think about oh, and why people want to drink. Ugh. But you just don't drink too much where you think you have a problem. You always know your limit. Oh my god, Bochi. <laughs> oh. I'll buy some tickets. Okay, yeah, perfect. She can get the tickets sold like that. <laughs> yeah. And then you can at least sell the tickets like that. That's okay. No, 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 no. Damn. <laughs> All right, baby shark. <laughs> Bochi, like, why did I help this girl? Oh my god! <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, because, you know, she's really good, but.
my homegirl about to play while she is under the influence, bruh. You go when you're ready. Oh, she getting into it. Damn, that was good. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <gasps> ah! <laughs> you only have one left. Yes. <laughs> it's happy tears though <laughs> a little bit of sadness too I got one more left. You can give it to her. 
Yes, you sold four. See? See, made friends and you got a ticket sold. All five. See, you made your quota! Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh! <sighs> yeah. But I sold all my tickets. <laughs> no, she's telling the truth. Baby is on a high. She's like, yes, I sold all five. I mean, wouldn't you? Because, like, <laughs> when you get to, like, that quota or whatever it is, like, oh, God, oh, we're going major throwback right now. Like, when you're getting to, like, not only your first quota for a sale, or you, for me, getting to, like, that first 100 and how accomplished you feel, and then you're like, damn. I'm gonna high, like, if I can do this, I can do fucking anything, like, <laughs> I mean, for me, it truly felt like that, I, I think, because I've talked about this, like, a lot of freaking times, and how that journey to the first 100 was my personal hell for, like, a good three to six months and such and I think that's mainly because as I've talked to other people about doing YouTube um I was I was still doing it because I loved it but you know how like sometimes you're looking at it of oh oh I can get paid for this I can get money for this all I you know how people are like money hungry and stuff I like I still do I still consider myself a money hungry person yeah at times but because I felt like when I am doing something and I put my all into it because I love it it's more like okay the money issue thing is like the second third or fourth thing down the line it's always about you doing something because you love it it's your passion and you want to hone that craft and you know be more and more in love with it and thrive and everything to your house okay <laughs> um, but yeah I mean honestly definitely can feel like you know it, like mm, god what's the word not mm, well empathize like feel and understand why both she's like yes like I reached my quota today I am so happy I can literally do anything and such because we've all been in that moment or, or have that feeling when you are able to accomplish something that you know at first you're like damn I don't really think I can do this and such and it, it's very similar to like when you when you get a job and you get that paycheck and when you save your money up and you're able to buy something that um you've been wanting for like the longest time and you just be like damn I can take on the motherfucking world like <laughs> Like, shit. <laughs> uh, but this episode was good. I do hope we get to see the new girl again soon-ish by next week. I'm guessing, like, praying she gets to bring her friends to the concert. If the concert is next week, um, of course, getting to, to the, the, I cannot speak, seeing the two girls in this episode who also bought tickets, um, Bochy's mom and dad, anyone else who pops up and shows up, I would like to see, you know, like, um, 
maybe some little Easter eggs from other shows by the Kiddo Fantasy of Prequel. So, you know, maybe if you want to do, you could do K-On if you wanted to. You could. I'm not saying you have to, but you could. Um, maybe the Asteroid and Love series, the, oh my god, um, the fishing anime, that show, I was, I, I don't remember the name of it, the fishing anime girls, yes, um, and of course, Kirby, and my laid back camp crew, or literally pretty much anything, my, uh, that one Yuri show that I watched, Sakura Trek, um, anything else the girls from new game the whole freaking cast of new game like i'm just saying you can put a lot of people in it you can make an easter egg out of the show i mean come on now like please bang dream did that like for the whole entirety of season one and especially went before the game came out so and then also that other thing that i can't talk about with with bundity because haha <laughs> reasons because it has to do with Moi, but yeah, <laughs> can't talk about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of Butchie the Rock. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next Saturday for episode seven. Bye, guys.